Okay, let's talk about X-Men 97. Uh, we're gonna use my space system, so story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two is the best that you can get in any category. This video might be a little bit longer than some of my other reviews because uh, if you've been following me for a long time, when my channel got really serious, it was mostly focused on X-Men. So House of X, Powers of 10. I was buying every mutant book and reviewing each one. And I there should be an X-Men playlist. You could go through them all if you really want to know. I stopped reading because it just got boring. I felt that it lost what X-Men was kind of about. And I don't know, I just wasn't as into it. Um, my favorite Marvel character is Cyclops. Um, he wasn't always my favorite. Obviously, as a kid, it was more like Spidey, Hulk, Wolverine, Punisher, those kind of guys. Wolverine was always there. Um, but uh, just to show you the first ever comic book shop, the first ever comic shop I went to ever, and the first things I bought there that weren't comics were these guys. Remember these little PVC guys? There you go. So X, all X-Men. Um, they didn't have Cyclops. <laughs> But I, I always love Cyclops. My I have a big tattoo of Cyclops right there, which you can kind of tell. And I've got a Sentinel underneath here. So this is an eight-hour session. And I got many X-Men, you know, on my on my arms and stuff. So uh, I love the X-Men. <clears throat> Cyclops and Jean are my two favorite uh, X-Men characters. And Wolverine, I guess those three. Um, and yeah, love Cyclops. So there you go. That's my kind of brief history with X-Men. I'll get more into it as we go through the categories. For the storyline, well, good news is, is I didn't hate this. So if you're watching this, I know you've seen my Damsel Sucks videos <laughs> and you saw my Doctor Who Sucks and my Madam Web is garbage. Um, this is not going to be like that because I didn't hate this cartoon, but I didn't really love this cartoon either. And I'm a little bit nervous. I feel that my rating might go down as we as we progress in episodes. We'll see. So this is going to be a very, well, all my reviews are fair. Um, so even when I say something is garbage, that's because it is garbage. But I'm going to be very fair on this one. So this for the storyline, I'm going to give it one point. The first episode is the Sentinels. We know that Professor X has been murdered. Um, he's probably in space, right? Whatever. Um, he's not in it. That That's that's what you need to know. And he's left, um, he's left, uh, I guess Cyclops is in charge, sort of, uh, at least in the beginning here. And uh, it's it's with the Sentinels. There's a Master Mold. That's that's pretty much the story right there. The second episode is Magneto taking over uh, the Friends of Humanity, who are the bad guys. Um, they're trying to uh, kill Magneto, uh, and also some of these judges who have decided to give Magneto a fair trial. Magneto has inherited the mansion, the fortune, all that stuff. He's going to be leading the X Men. Uh, Cyclops and Jean. Uh, Jean's pregnant. Is it really Jean? Ooh, I guess no spoilers, but like it's not Jean. I mean, I mean, we, this is a spoiler for people. But uh, uh, anyways, so Nathan is born there. Um, and then they're thinking about leaving. So the reason I'm only giving this a one point is that it's this like, oh, Cyclops wants to leave and all that. I'm like, oh, I hate this kind of crap. It's always like, oh, I got to leave or I don't want to do this. It's, it's, I don't know why. The, they're incapable of making a strong leader or at least a strong male leader. I don't know. I just got to say it. L listen, I don't, I, I don't buy into everything that a lot of people say on both sides of this argument. Like, Oh, everything is just woke trash. Oh, 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 or everything is great and rainbows and it's the best thing ever. Sometimes it's really, it really is just awful woke trash. Sometimes it is pretty good and people are just angry for no reason. So, I'm never going to fall into either of these categories hardcore, right? I'm going to tell you straight up. I, I just think they're incapable of writing these characters. Um, I'll get to characters. They're kind of just incapable of doing it. Maybe it's subconscious and they don't want to, or maybe they, they just don't want to, but this like, Oh, I want to quit. It's not that bad. Like I didn't hate the stories. It was, it was okay. Like I'm like, okay, you know, um, to give you a comparison, the, the He-Man that Kevin Smith did, I thought was that was an atrocity. Like, that was just terrible. That was a disgrace to He-Man. Um, again, that He-Man said, that He-Man, Kevin Smith said, we're continuing from the original uh, He-Man. And you're like, no, you're not. This is continuing from the X-Men animated series. So, I mean, I guess they're exploring different facets, 
that's fine. I'm not sure. So I'm going to give it one point. I wasn't angry, but I'm a little bit nervous, okay? <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, right? <laughs> All right, so one point for the storyline. For the pacing, I'm actually gonna give the pacing two points, uh, two out of two, so two is the best you can get. I'm giving it two points because I wasn't bored and there actually was quite a lot of action. So that's good. The X-Men need to be fighting cool things, either the Friends of Humanity or Sentinels or something, monsters, whatever. They need to fight people. It's X-Men, it's action, okay? I want action in this damn thing. So there was action and fighting and Cyclops was using his blasters and all that stuff. So that's cool, people are using their powers. So there you go. So pacing, wasn't bored. Everything flows nice, good amounts of action. There you go, it's a cartoon. Um, for the artistry, and I'm gonna address Morph and I am gonna address Rogue. And we're gonna address Rogue right now. Um, we're going to give the artistry a 1.5. So let's talk about like music's good. We can be finished right there. Character designs are going to be what's going to knock this down, but we're going to get to that. The overall look is fine. They look like those, uh, X-Men, uh, of the original animated series costumes. They did give Rogue the Mohawk. So point on Rogue for Mohawk and point on the look of Rogue, which were the kind of the two things that people were nervous about. Number one, Storm, the Mohawk. Um, well, I like the Mohawk, actually. Uh, I've always liked the Mohawk. However, she didn't... Okay, so here's where I need to do a confession. Even though I own all of this stuff, I'm going to show you guys just to prove it to you. I own all the X-Men animated series, okay? But I have not watched this since it aired on TV. I buy these from my collection, and I never went back and rewatched them. I just started rewatching them just now, uh, and I'm on like episode six or seven, so I'm gonna get through them all. My memories of the cartoon was that I thought it was really cool, but I wasn't like, this is the real X-Men. I just thought it was a cool cartoon, that's it. Just like the Spider-Man 90s cartoon, I know that those two have a lot of fans where like, yeah, that's the real Spider-Man. Uh, it's Spider-Man, I guess. So I don't remember if, she had the mohawk in the last season. So my thing is, is that if you're doing a show that's continuing from another show, she should have the same outfit from that show. Now, unless you're gonna show a scene where she shaves her head or something, right? Like, so personally speaking, I'm completely okay with the mohawk. Um, I like the mohawk. Does the mohawk go with that white costume? that could be problematic for people. It's like, well, you know, is that technically what she looked like? Mohawk Storm was more like the Morlock looking thing where she had like kind of the black and all that. And and and, and she 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 got deep. Well, we know that she's depowered. I mean, spoilers, she gets depowered. Um, sorry if you didn't know that. Uh, so it, it, it could like what she could have maybe had her normal hair and then got depowered and then had the Mohawk. We'll see what happens with Storm. We'll get to characters momentarily. Um, rogue, let's address it. Um, well, it's, it's bullshit, really. And and there's people on, on, on both sides fighting saying, well, you know, they can redraw her how they want and they're drawing her more realistic. And then there's people saying, well, that's not the real rogue and I'm on their side. It's not rogue. I don't understand. You can't, this is, again, remember what this is. We have to remember what this is. This is X-Men 97. It's in the title. So if it's in the title, then the characters should look like what they look like. So unless Rogue somehow lost her curves in the last season of the X-Men cartoon, again, that's why I pointed out, I haven't watched it since it aired. And I don't remember. Sorry, I don't I don't have a memory of watching that cartoon. I watched the cartoon. I remember I watched all that. I had VHS tapes even of some of them. Um, but I don't remember every detail of that cartoon. So I apologize. But so if Rogue somehow got decurved in the last season, but I don't think that happened, right? We know why they're redrawing this. They can't have a curvy woman because those don't exist in real life, right? Uh, except that they do exist in real life. I, my only takeaway is that they don't want to represent them in cartoons. So Disney's about representation, except if you're a curvy woman, then they don't want your represented. You don't want, they don't want you represented. So that's a fail. I have to take off uh, marks because that is not, I, Cyclops is the same. If you're going to copy or at least trying to get it close to those original designs, 
then you gotta honor those designs or don't have the character. If you're making a brand new X-Men series from scratch, you're just saying I'm doing a new X-Men series and then you draw them the way you want, then I can I can rate uh, your 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 animation and and your um and your style, but you're trying to copy the old cartoon, so she needs to look like that. Sorry, um, and I like Rogue, and she was sexy, and now she's not. She's still kind of <laughs> like sexy, but not as much, and that's bullshit. So there you go. While I'm on the topic of art, I do want to mention my channel sponsor, BeardedShirts.com. BeardedShirts.com. Link is in the description. Check out. They've got tons of X Men shirts. We got Dazzler here. Everyone knows I love Dazzler. I do a Dazzler stream uh, once a month. We do a Dazzler stream on her comics. Check out this shirt. This is a print all over, so it's printed on both sides. Um, they've got tons of X-Men stuff, so check them out. It is awesome. They got sales on all the time. And shipping to Canada is almost the same price as shipping in the United States. So Canadians out there, you guys are covered. You can, you can grab your shirts and you'll get a good deal. Um, check out the link in the description. So that's the artistry. Otherwise, like everything's fine. Um, they look, characters look okay. Um, you know, animation's pretty cool. It looks good. It's colorful. It's bright. It's not, they didn't do that whole, like, I know sometimes these modern cartoons try to make it dark or these movies try to make it darker or, 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 or try to like, uh, like change things around or update it or whatever. No, nope, it looks pretty good except for Rogue. So that makes it even more irritating. It's like, just make her the normal person. Nobody would have, if you would have just done Rogue the way she looked, nobody would have questioned it. Cause you're like, oh yeah, that's Rogue. Right. So, all right. Characters for the characters. This is a tough one. This is, I'm going to give it one for the characters. All right, so here's another cover. Now I did buy, I, I started grabbing the toys, X-Men 97 toys, I got a Sentinel, big Sentinel, whoa. Um, so look, well, Cyclops is my favorite character. Favorite Marvel character, favorite X-Men character, whatever, right? Jean as well, uh, Wolverine as well, I really like those three. Wolverine I've always liked. Uh, Cyclops I grew to like as I got more into comics uh, and X-Men. He's a strong leader. He's a good man. He's tactical. He knows how to fight. I, the executioner in this kind of beat him up a bit. I'm like, well, he can fight. But anyway. So we're going to have to almost go through characters. I, I arrived at the score of one because it's the halfway point. Um, I got, I've got, I'm going to be looking down because I don't remember every character exactly. Uh, so Cyclops, I, he was okay, but... It, it's like they kind of talk back at him. I know Wolverine all, and Cyclops always talk back to each other, but I don't know. I, I, he should have been a little bit stronger, but he, I, I didn't hate it. Jean, she was okay. Um, Storm, bland, she's just there. I guess now that she's depowered, they'll make her more interesting. Bishop, he's just there. Gambit, I don't like Gambit. Sorry, this is, I know this might be a hot take. I don't like Gambit. Um, and I, I like Rogue. Um, I like the look of Rogue, but like she was okay. Um, Jubilee, no, nope, don't like Jubilee, sorry. Uh, Morph, we're going to talk about Morph last. Um, Beast, nope, not a fan of Beast. Um, it's just, that's just how it goes. All right, and Magneto, uh, I liked Magneto in this. I thought he was pretty cool. I know he's got that goofy kind of costume. Uh, and Magneto's one of the coolest looking bad guys and one of the best bad guys in Marvel. Um, the costumes, you know, I'm okay with it. I kind of got used to it and th th I think it's kind of neat. I don't know. It's from the comics, so whatever. I like Magneto. He is cool uh, in this in this uh, series. So let's get on to Morph. Okay, this is the big controversy. So they said that he was going to be, uh, I guess, bisexual or or... or um, a member of the LGBT community or something that hasn't happened in the, the first two episodes. At least I didn't notice anything. Uh, so that could happen. So I, I, and I don't know, um, how that's going to play into anything. So right now it hasn't happened. So there's not really anything to address. Um, he's a boring character though. I think he's like just boring as hell. My problem with the characters and why I only gave it a half score, like a one out of two, is that I, you know, this is a confession of, 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 the, of that animated series. I'm not dying over a lot of those guys. You know, I'm a fan of giant size X-Men, number one. That's like my favorite X-Men comic, I think. Um, if I'm just picking one single issue, it's pretty awesome. And the, the, the cartoon that I really liked was the Pride of the X-Men. 
Um, Dazzler's one of my faves. Um, and Jubilee is there. And I'm like, well, Jubilee's just the poor man's Dazzler for me. Um, I really like Kitty Pride. She's awesome. Shadowcat is badass. Um, I really liked her um, uh, in some of the in some of the more later comics. So she's not in this. But you don't have Nightcrawler and Colossus. Like when I remember when that cartoon was out, and I'm like, there's there's no Nightcrawler. What the hell is going on here? And I'm like, there's no Colossus. Like, uh, um, okay. And I just don't care about Gambit. Like, I do like Beast. Beast is cool. Um, but yeah, like, it, again, if you're not going to have the original X-Men, like, I love Archangel um, more so than just Angel. The original five X-Men are cool. They're the original X-Men. I love Iceman. I love them all in their own ways. Um, I would have taken those versus a lot of these. It's just like Gambit, Rogue to me, she's like on and villain, like, you know, on again, off again villain maybe. Like, she she drains your powers it's it's a weird thing to be a hero if you're draining people um but you know she's cool i like rogue i had the, i had rogue's first appearance before i sold it um yeah i don't know i don't know i just i i, I, don't, I don't care yeah gambit rogue morph who else was in it gambit rogue morph uh jubilee so yeah uh, yeah gambit rogue morph jubilee and bishop like bishop's okay he's kind of cool um, but I mean, I'd rather have Colossus, Nightcrawler, Kitty, and, um, Dazzler. So, and Wolverine was in the brown costume in that, at Pride of the X-Men, which is just, like, so cool to me. I love that costume. Look, I know the yellow is classic, so that's fine. I, I, I can't get angry at a classic. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on the characters. For the enjoyment factor of this cartoon, I'll give it, for the first two episodes, I'll give it a one. Um, it was okay. It wasn't cringe. I didn't, I didn't bar for anything like that. Um, I watched both episodes back to back. Uh, I, I do want to reserve the right to change my opinion as it goes, because if Cyclops actually does leave, then we're going to have a massive problem. Um, we're, this is going to take a big time dive in enjoyment factor category and in character factor category. Cause right now, Scott and Jean are like the my favorite character, and, and Magneto. Uh, I, I can't stand Wolverine in, in this cartoon. It's like, like I love Wolverine, but he's just like so irritating. And like Gambit and Rogue are sitting there in the beginning of the first episode. It's like, oh, we're we're, we're on this mission trying to save this. Uh, um, we're trying to save Sunspot, and it's like, well, I don't care. You guys got this. Like, okay, you don't want to go save this mutant guy who's getting harassed and like captured. What the hell? So Spun, Sunspot was in this and he was okay. Um, I do, you know, sun, New Mutants. I like the New Mutants, so there you go. Yeah, so I'm giving it a one. Uh, so total score is a 6.5. So a 6.5 out of 10. Um, that's way better than I thought. I, I was kind of, I started doing that. I'm like, do I have to redo this math? I think what, what helped this out was the pacing was good and there was a lot of action. So worst case scenario, you still get the X-Men fighting people. Um, using their powers so that's something you didn't get in these latest x-men comics there's a lot of talking and i know and maybe there's more fighting later but the costumes are not that great um i like these costumes better i, I do like the 90s jim lee costumes they're they're cool um so at least the x-men look cool it's colorful bright and they're fighting those are your big positives the medium points are characters and story to an extent, we'll see how this pro progresses. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to reserve the right to change my rating as we go. So this is for both episodes. I'm not going to do one episode and one episode. And then, uh, you know, for the two episodes, I'll give it a 6.5 right now. Um, it, I liked both episodes equally anyway. So even if I broke it down, it wouldn't matter. Uh, so this review was a bit longer. Sorry, but uh, X-Men's a big part of this channel, at least the beginning of this channel. So uh, I wanted to make sure I, I got my points across. So if you've been watching this whole time, thanks. Thanks for sticking through. Um, if you like my space system, please like the video. Uh, consider subscribing and check out our live streams. We're doing every Monday, we're doing the Legion of Superheroes. And every Friday is coming up. Well, coming up is Born Again, Daredevil. But after that, we're going to be doing Fantastic Four. So Fantastic Fridays. Make sure you're there for that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on X-Men 97. And I hope that I've been very fair to this 
uh, a, a series. I don't want to get stuck in one of these factions where like, I just love everything that happens because it's just, you know, it's X-Men, yeah, I love it. And I don't want to get stuck into I hate everything because I just hate everything. I'm trying to, you know, extract the good and extract the bad and see where we're at here. So, so far I'm a little, I'm, I'm definitely more positive because I'm above a five. Um, I, I think I gave Madam Web like two or three out of 10. <laughs> that was an awful movie, really, come on. Uh, that was really awful, stop it. Uh, but anyways, we'll see where it goes. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Until next time.